We have a representation of some different halogens here. And these are the ones we find on most of the apparatus as we travel around the country. A lot of people have the, the chrome plated halogens, they're cast, they're pinned. The leather head and the pro bars are forged a little bit stronger. The, the leather head and pro bar halogens are a little easier to work with. I prefer them. Some of the things, some of the differences are the thicknesses of the forks. When you're forcing a door, you're actually driving this wedge of metal between the door and the frame. The slimmer it is, this wedge of metal it is, the easier it is going to be able to achieve your, your goal of getting the, the tool through the door. We also look, in addition to the forks, we have the different pikes. And these pikes are not designed as well as the pro bars and the leather head. These are, are more easier to stick if you're doing the baseball bat swing. And then on the, the ads end of the halogen, the pro bar and the leather heads are curved, giving you a fulcrum. Most of the, these older styled cast ones are, are flat and don't give you as much of a fulcrum. Another thing is the edge where it's ground. On a true halogen, on the pro bar, on the leather head, you have the bevel on this side. Some of these others will have the bevel on the opposite side. When you put it in the door, then that's trying to roll its way out. We also like the 30 inch bar. With a 30 inch bar, you're able to work within the door frame. So if you're in a hallway, if you have a, a smaller door, it works inside the door frame. And when you get to these larger halogens, sometimes it's harder to fit, harder to work in there. So 30 inches is the good medium. It lets you get inside the door frame, but uh, still gives you appropriate leverage. So when you're coming up to a door, what we're talking about doing is, is capturing the edge of that door. I'm, I'm going to capture this edge. And on some of these, they're ground. On a pro bar, before it's, it's dressed, it's thicker, it's harder to get it to come in and capture that edge. Whereas if you have a tool that, that has a nice profile that's already ground down, you're in, you can capture the edge of the door and you're ready to start working. I talked about the bevel on the ads end. On some of these casts where the bevel is here, when I'm coming in and I'm trying to gap the door, what it wants to do is it wants to roll out of the door as you're trying to gap the door. On a pro bar or a leather head though, you have a, a edge that lets you come in and actually capture that and then get good leverage. You're, you're able to, to gap your door using the ads in. Once you've gapped, you're taking the forked end, you're coming in, you're capturing the edge of that door, holding inward pressure and pulling it to you. So with a, a dress down tool or a leather head out of the box, you've already captured that edge and you're ready to call for a strike and start moving forward with the tool.